This is how I read 100 books a year, even though I have barely any spare time. So I, of course, read some physical books. Uh, I read on the Kindle and BorrowBox app, but my secret is audiobooks. And the main platform that I use is Audible, mainly because it has the largest catalog, largest library of audiobooks, and it's the app is easy to use, and I can use it on the Alexa uh, as well. So when I'm cleaning up, I can listen to an audiobook. The purists will say that Listening to an audiobook is not proper reading, but I disagree. It's not about better or worse, but it's just another form, another way to consume book content. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. And it's still the same words. I'd rather, yes, read the physical books and Kindle, but also be able to uh, consume more books through audiobooks. I'm a busy parent with two toddlers. I'm a digital inclusion project manager at a large global tech consultancy working within the corporate social responsibility team. I'm a trustee at a large uh, charity based in the northeast of, of England. Um, I do digital fundraising. I do a podcast. I do these uh, YouTube videos. So my time is super squeezed. And I found audiobooks is such a great way to fit in that reading. So I mostly consume non-fiction books, uh, but there are, there's a huge catalog of, of uh, fiction books as well, but it helps part of my learning. Two years ago, I started using Audible, um, and since then, I've uh, listened to about 150 plus uh, audiobooks. And one of the first ones that I read, listen, or listened to, uh, was Atomic Habits by James Clear. So there's an argument and there's research where you are reading a physical book and you do tend to absorb it better. I would say this, in my situation with Atomic Habits, it was still a fantastic read and I was able to apply the lessons from that book. So it didn't have to be a physical one. I just I just wrote some notes and it did genuinely change my life because of the uh, changes that I had put into practice from the lessons that I had learned from the, the audiobook. By the way, you can get a 30-day free trial of Audible using the referral link in my uh, description. So you'll get one credit to use towards any title. So it could be something that's just released, um, which might be £20 for the hardback cover in the shops. You'll be able to get that for free. And don't worry, at the end of the trial, if it's not for you, you can cancel it. No, no issues uh, at all. You'll also get access to um, the Plus catalog. So I use this quite a bit as well. So the Plus catalog is thousands of titles uh, that you can have access to which is part of your membership so the credits are more towards the premium titles um, and then if you extend your membership on a monthly basis or you can get like a, a yearly basis so i i've got the premium yearly uh, subscription which gives you like 24 credits so i, I use that towards uh, different premium titles that i, I want to use but there's also that additional one so let's dive back in. So the major advantage for me with audiobooks is being able to listen to them whilst multitasking. So I could be going for a walk, uh, driving, cleaning up, doing the dishes, at the doctors, in the waiting room, waiting in line, could be multiple ways. So it, it helps me fit in some reading whilst you know, I'm out busy doing things and we've all got busy lives. As I've mentioned, I've got quite a few different responsibilities. But, but through this, I'm able to fit in those readings, those titles that are entertaining or something that I'm going to be learning from. And it's it's formed such a huge part of my learning actually for work. And another amazing thing about them is how engaging audiobooks could be. You know, the, the person reading it, the narrator can be quite engaging. They, they can uh, display emotion and depth and impact in what they're reading. And they can be quite highly entertaining, even the kind of non-fiction books. And some of my favourites I'll share with you include um, an early one that I listened to was Will Smith's biography about two years ago, um, that he was narrating himself. And then throughout that, there was areas where there was a bit of music that amplified what what he was uh, talking about at the time, you know, his rap career. And then what was absolutely fantastic, it was just mind blowing, was he got to a bit near the end of the uh, audiobook where he's talking about uh, his time on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and that scene with his father, um, where his father left and um, he's been consoled by uh, Uncle Phil and how it was such an emotional impact. And then they replayed that clip for you to listen to 
and that I thought was just absolutely, absolutely mind blowing, absolutely incredible. Really loved that. Uh, some of the other ones that um, one of some of my favourites, uh, of course, I've, I've mentioned Atomic Habits. There's um, Barack Obama's Promised Land. Uh, again, uh, Barack Obama he narrates it himself, and it's quite a long one. It's like eighteen hours uh, long. Uh, again, use the free trial. You'll be able to get this title for free as part of your thirty day trial. Um, uh, listening to his, you know, with with his voice and his his, his kind of powerful, yeah, very very calming voice. Uh, it was fantastic. It was really. It was, it was listening. I was listening, reading his book being read out. Uh, but it's quite. It was like going on an experience. Uh, what are the other ones? Uh, I'm gonna just check my list. Uh, David Goggins can't hurt me. That was really good. So this one was kind of his uh, his book, uh, which was uh, read out by a. Uh, professional narrator but um, it was interweaved by David Goggins where they after not every chapter but intermittently would stop and then he would give his commentary so it's kind of a in his words he would call it it's a, an audio work uh, a podcast slash radio show uh, so again it was, it was really good so not all of them are quite like that some of them are just you know straightforward audiobooks just word for word um, but um, I think in certain instances this can really enhance it so you, you get in that learning um, but also that kind of entertainment factor as well along with the convenience and being able to to multitask so I absolutely love it I think it's it's fantastic so hopefully this this has been uh, useful it's uh, it was kind of a, a bit of a review into audiobooks uh, again I would highly recommend using uh, Audible. It's the easiest one to use. There is a subscription fee. I know there's some other platforms out there, but I find that because of the the huge library that it has and the integration with other tech, uh, I find Audible is one of the best ones. So try it out, have a go. Uh, as mentioned, I've got a, a referral link uh, for, yeah, if you use this link, you'll get 30 day free trial. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments if you are an audiobook fan. And if you're listening to, to anything good, any recommendations I can listen to over the, the holiday period, I'm, I'm recording this whilst uh, we've just kicked off with the, the Christmas holidays. Um, and it's a great time to listen to audiobooks. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.